Hi there, Frank here from Remek, and in this short video, I will want to continue our work with optimization. And in the last video, we ran some tests and we optimized two or three settings, not more. Now in this part, I'd like to show you something more. Of course, there's a lot of things you can do here and it's worth exploring this a little deeper. But right now, I just want to show you one more thing. So here's the concept. We ran the optimization and we now can see what would have happened if we had run this strategy with these settings in the past two years, but we didn't. This is what would have happened, but we didn't run it, and the future is not going to be the same as the past. So how can we improve our chances of knowing that this is something worthwhile? Well, one way is the Monte Carlo analysis. Now, Monte Carlo is a nice town in France, worth visiting, but right now we're going to talk about statistics because what's going on here is what we're going to do here is that let's look at this in a little more detail. For example, on the NQ, we had 3,050 trades. And here's the thing. Uh, of course, we trade the trends and we cannot say that our trades, especially consecutive trades, are completely independent from each other. Um, I don't think they're completely independent because we are part of a trend. You know, momentum reemerges, reemerges. They're not completely independent. But the best way we can simulate um, the future and improve our knowledge of the probabilities of success in the future, which hasn't happened yet, one way of doing it and a good way of doing it is just to pretend that these trades are independent. So what we're going to do here, and I'll cut to the chase, 3,050 trades on the NQ, we're going to put them in the bag, in a bag, and we're going to just take them out one by one in random order and see what happens. So there will be losing trades, winning trades, break-even trades, all kinds of trades. And this is what you're looking at now is a certain order of these 3,000 trades. Good, bad, and the ugly, whatever it is, good. But what if these trades had happened in a different order, would our strategy still stand up? That is the question that we're trying to answer here. And we're going to do that by putting all our trades in a bag, take them out one by one randomly, and see what would have happened, see what results we get. Now, that's the Monte Carlo analysis. So we can do that in NinjaTrader. Pretty cool. Let's see. So I'm on the NQ. I'm going to start generate. Now, this is one random order of these 3,000 trades, all right? But it's not the same order as it actually happened in the past. If I press it again, there's another random order of these 3,050 trades. And again, and again, and again, and I can keep pressing these. And every instance, randomized instance of a pass that never happened, is played out here quickly with the computer. Now, this is fantastic. And what do we want to see? What we want to see is that all these potential instances, these pasts that never happened actually, they are kind of similar. If you see these lines all over the place, well, that's not good news because that means that just a little change in the past would have really thrown off our strategy. What we want to see is pretty much the same curve. And look, they're not bad. They're pretty much the same thing. None of these instances will be instance, instances will be exactly the same. That, that's not what we're expecting. What we're expecting is that they're pretty much going to be similar. And there will be no dramatic outliers. Now, there might be, and there probably will be, situations, instances of these Monte Carlo runs that might start with a negative Draw, drawdown, for example, <clears throat> excuse me, that can happen too. And that will explain this very strange fact that it's very hard to wrap our heads around as traders, that the question, is it possible to lose our money even with a strategy with an edge? Think of a worst case scenario where all the losing trades in the strategy come right after each other and we just 
we just lose our money before things get better, all right? There's a, chances are quite slight but or slim, but uh, this can happen. So there's never a guarantee simply because the future hasn't happened yet. So we have to remember that. Having said all that, we want to remember the previous video. I ran the test based on the profit factor. So we optimize for the profit factor and it is only fair that we run the Monte Carlo also for the profit factor. So I just keep pressing the generate button and I keep generating these, these uh, imaginary instances of a run of our strategy in the past two years, two and a half years. And I I'm quite impressed. I'm quite happy to see what I'm seeing. All these instances, I, keep, I can keep pressing this for a week and maybe we should for a couple of hours anyway, but probably you could automate this. I'm going to look into it. But all these different instances, these individual instances are, look at that, pretty similar. We have now about 30, 40. That is robustness. That is what we want. All right? So in your testing, we can jump on the RTY. Remember the ES in the last video? I don't think the ES will be that good, but that's just part of life. But if we keep doing this, the RTY, I should clear it, and then we're going to run one. See, this is RTY, profit factor. Let's see what happens. I just keep pressing it. You see, not bad, not bad. Here we go. This is what we want to see. This is the power of the standalones. And I'll stop here because I could go on for an hour and keep repeating myself. But... This is how you verify your edge. This is how you see. There's never a guarantee. There's never a guarantee. But this is how you start to verify your edge and you increase your potential, the probability of success exponentially. So good luck with this work and probably we'll be back soon with another video. All right. Take care and mindful trading. Mm -hmm.